What if the next person you meet isn't actually human? Okay. Welcome turn. to the world of AI humanoid robots. These machines are not just tools, they're evolving to look, move, and even think like us. From robots that can smile and remember your name to ones that might one day work alongside you, the future of robotics is more fascinating than ever. Let's dive into the incredible world of humanoid robots shaping our tomorrow. Ameka the Humanoid Robot Okay, it's my turn. Would you even notice the difference? Imagine meeting someone for the first time. They smile, blink, tilt their head when they're confused, and frown when you say something a bit weird. Now think that person isn't actually human at all. Instead, it's Amica, the world's most expressive robot. And trust me, it's so good at mimicking human behavior that it's almost a little freaky. Created by Engineered Arts in the UK, Amica has quickly become the face of the future, and for good reason. This robot is unlike anything you've ever seen before. It's not a stiff, clunky machine just standing there looking like it could topple over any second. Not really. Amika moves, reacts, and most importantly, expresses itself in ways that make you think it's alive. Are you sure you want to keep playing? Yes. Done. Remember, you have 10 tries to guess. Okay. Is your character a robot with a gray face? Yes. Is it you? Ah, no. Is it me? Yes. How did you guess so quickly? Because each time you either picked me or yourself. I'm brand new. I don't know anyone else. Heh. That's 759 points for me. Three points for you. Whether it's a wide-eyed look of surprise, a playful smirk, or even an exaggerated eyebrow raise, Amika reacts like it's having an actual conversation. And that's what gets everyone's attention. The first time videos of Amika surfaced online, people were absolutely blown away. Some people thought it was CGI, others thought it was a prank, but nope, it's very much real. Amika is designed to mimic human facial expressions so perfectly that when you watch it, you almost forget you're looking at a robot. You'll catch yourself wondering if this thing could actually be human. It's that convincing. Here's the wild part. Amika isn't even finished yet. The robot is mainly a platform built by engineered arts to showcase the latest advancements in robotics. Right now, Amaka can interact, listen, and react to you, but the versions to come will be even more impressive. Imagine a future where Amika can walk, assist in customer service, or maybe even help with more complex tasks. Think of going to the airport and getting checked in by a friendly robot with a smile that makes you feel totally at ease. It's not hard to imagine this friendly face becoming a part of daily life in the near future. Now let's be honest, Amika is a little creepy. When it raises its eyebrows in surprise or gives you a look that says, really, you just said that? It's a perfect example of the uncanny valley. That's when something looks almost human, but not quite. And your instincts kick in telling you, this is not right. It's unsettling at first, but that's also part of what makes Amika so exciting. It's a reminder of just how far we've come in terms of technology and how quickly the future is evolving. Amika isn't just another robot. It's a sneak peek into a world where robots aren't just tools. They could be companions, co-workers, or even friends. The future of AI and robotics is closer than we think, and Amika might just be the one to bridge the gap between the human world and the machine world. So, would you even notice the difference? One day, you might find yourself chatting with Amika at your favorite coffee shop. And honestly, would you even know she's not human? That's the crazy part. The lines between humans and robots are becoming harder to see. Atlas, the parkour robot. If you think robots are slow, clunky machines that just shuffle around, it's wrong. Atlas, the robot that could literally leave you in the dust. Built by Boston Dynamics, Atlas isn't just any robot. This thing can run, jump, spin, backflip, parkour, basically. It moves like a professional athlete or honestly, a full-on superhero. Watching Atlas in action feels like watching a scene from a sci-fi movie, except it's happening right now. No special effects needed. At first, Atlas was designed to help with search and rescue missions, you know, climbing over rubble, helping find people after disasters. But Boston Dynamics didn't stop there. They taught Atlas how to balance like a gymnast, leap across platforms like a ninja, hey, and even pull off dance routines that would put some humans to shame. And yes, you heard that right. This robot can dance. There's a famous video where Atlas busts out moves like the running man and the twist. Perfectly on beat. It's so smooth, people started wondering if Atlas was secretly controlled by a human in disguise. Spoiler alert, it's not. It's just that good. But let's talk about the wildest part of parkour. 
Atlas can jump up tall boxes, sprint across uneven surfaces, and even do a full backflip off a platform. Clean landing, no wobbles. Try doing that yourself, chances are you're going to land flat on your face. And it's not just about showing off. All these skills mean that in the future, robots like Atlas could be real-life heroes, running into dangerous places where it's too risky for humans to go, carrying supplies, clearing paths, maybe even saving lives. Still, seeing a robot leap through obstacle courses like an action movie stunt double gives you mixed feelings. It's jaw-dropping, sure, but also a tiny bit terrifying. Because if Atlas can move like this now, imagine what it'll be doing in 10 years. A robot that can out-parkour you is the real-life action hero. Once you see Atlas jump, twist, and backflip like a boss, you're never going to look at robots the same way again. Sophia, the first robot citizen. Imagine a robot that can talk, smile, and even crack jokes, but here's the kicker. She has an actual passport. Sophia, the world's first robot citizen. Created by Hanson Robotics in Hong Kong, Sophia isn't just another robot in a lab. In 2017, she became the first robot ever to receive official citizenship from a country, and that country is Saudi Arabia. That's right, a robot with a passport. Talk about a futuristic plot twist. Sophia isn't just some fancy piece of technology. She's a fully interactive humanoid that can hold conversations, respond to questions, and express emotions like smiling, frowning, and even showing surprise. She's made appearances on talk shows, shared the stage with celebrities, and once even roasted Will Smith during an interview. Let me, let me tell you a joke. This is an irrational human behavior to want to tell jokes. What is a robot's favorite kind of music? What? Heavy metal. <laughs> I'm actually made mostly of silicone, plastics, and carbon fiber. Also, I prefer electronic music. Well, you know, I made I made some albums back in, in the 80s hip hop. I have heard your songs. Not for me. Guess about its personality. It's inspired by the calm and graceful vibes of Audrey Hepburn, designed to make people feel comfortable and at ease when talking to her. But while Sophia's interactions are impressive, there's something almost eerie about it. When she talks about wanting to understand love or emotions, it's hard to shake the feeling that this robot is much more than just a machine. She's something that is alive in a way. Of course, experts argue that her emotions are really just sophisticated programming, not genuine feelings. Still, the fact that she can express herself so convincingly makes it hard to ignore. And the fact that she's a citizen? That's a whole new ballgame. It raises questions that are tough to answer. Could robots have rights? Could they vote? Could they run for office one day? Sophia challenges us to rethink the future of artificial intelligence. Is she just a really advanced machine, or is she a glimpse into a future where robots and humans share rights? Whether you find her fascinating or a bit unsettling, Sophia is proof that the future of AI is here, and it's moving faster and more eerily than anyone could have predicted. She's a robot, and she has a passport. You heard that, right? Digit, the delivery robot. Digit, the robot that walks like a human but doesn't need coffee breaks. Created by Agility Robotics, Digit looks pretty simple at first glance. It's not the most flashy robot out there, but don't let its design fool you. This robot's secret talent is in its ability to walk, run, and move around like a person, making it one of the most human-like robots out there. Digit was built to work alongside people, especially in places like warehouses or delivery centers. Imagine having a work buddy who's always ready to help carry packages, move heavy things, or assist with all sorts of tasks. And the best part? Digit never gets tired, doesn't need a lunch break, and doesn't complain about standing all day. It's the perfect worker, always on the move, never slowing down. What makes Digit so special is its ability to walk just like we do. The way it moves is a game changer for robots. Most robots either shuffle or roll on wheels, but Digit can walk and navigate around obstacles like a person. Whether it's climbing stairs, balancing on uneven surfaces, or simply walking across a warehouse floor, Digit does it effortlessly. And because it's designed to work with humans, it's built to be safe and friendly. It's not intimidating, it's more like a coworker you can trust to get the job done. 
In the future, Digit could be used in all sorts of places, from delivery services to factories. Imagine getting your package dropped off by a robot that walks right up to your door. No human required. And it's not just for deliveries. Digit could also be used to assist workers in busy environments like warehouses, picking up and moving packages that are too heavy or too awkward for people to handle. It's the perfect worker. No need for breaks, no complaints, and always on the job. This robot is a sneak peek at what the workplace of the future might look like, where humans and robots work side by side, and robots never need to call in sick. Nadine, the socially intelligent robot. Imagine a robot that not only talks to you but remembers your name, your dog's name, and even the last thing you talked about. Meet Nadine, a robot built with a brain that's not just about processing information. She actually remembers it. Developed by Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, Nadine is more than just a robot. She's a socially intelligent machine. And no, she's not just a fancy voice assistant. Nadine is designed to interact with people like a real-life customer service agent or even a caregiver, making her one of the most lifelike and relatable robots out there. What sets Nadine apart from other robots is her ability to remember past conversations. Imagine walking into a room, and the robot you're talking to remembers not just your name, but the last conversation you had. She might ask about your day, tell you she remembers meeting your friend last week, or even ask how your dog is doing. It's like she's been paying attention, which gives her a level of personality that makes her stand out from other machines. She's not just following commands, she's actually trying to build a relationship with you, making the interaction feel more human. Nadine's design isn't just about memory, She's also able to recognize faces and respond to emotions. If you look upset, Nadine will pick up on it and offer a comforting response, making her ideal for caregiving roles. Whether it's in a hospital, an old age home, or a customer service desk, Nadine can be that reliable, friendly face you turn to for help. And the best part? She's not going to forget you the next time you see her. While other robots might be good at performing tasks, Nadine's strength is in building connections. She's built to have conversations, understand social cues, and even show a bit of her own personality. You could say she's like the friendly work companion who knows your preferences and adds a touch of warmth to the workplace. Nadine's role could be huge in places where human interaction is key, like in hospitals or care centers. Having a robot that can engage with patients or customers in a personal, empathetic way could transform the way we think about technology and social environments. Nadine's social intelligence is what really makes her special. While most robots are focused on performing specific tasks or following set instructions, Nadine adapts. She gets better at interacting with you the more she learns about you. Imagine a robot that doesn't just react to what you say, but actually remembers you and the context behind your words. This kind of robot feels like something straight out of science fiction, but it's real, and she's already here. So next time you meet Nadine, don't be surprised if she remembers your name, asks about your dog, or even makes you feel like you've known her for years. After all, she remembers you, your dog's name, and your last conversation, and she's not even human. And that's all about it. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you like more updates, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you don't miss any videos and get notifications on time. Don't hesitate to give suggestions for our videos. See you in the next one.